What's going on everybody? This is going to be a home theater related video, so if you're here for my gaming content, you know, you probably won't get anything out of this, but I wanted to do this because um, I came up with a design of something and I'm really proud of it. I think it turned out really well and I wanted to share it to give uh, an idea for anyone else that's maybe looking for something similar. So if you're looking for some kind of sound diffusion or you want to add some beams or something um, to spruce up your theater room, uh, I'm going to show you what I came up with. But first I'm going to show you my concept and it all started with uh, I decided to do a makeover do some paint which I'm gonna have a full video before and after it's gonna be about 25 minutes long um, but I'm not hundred percent done yet so that's gonna be coming probably within a couple days but anyway I wanted to shoot this for this specific segment so I can share it on the forums uh, discord uh, the groups youth man group and uh, uh, home theater on a budget so I'll probably be sharing the link if you're watching this more than likely you saw it from that so uh, yeah, I wanted to incorporate some kind of sound diffusion in my room. I have most, almost all sound absorption, and I also want to make some wooden beams to uh, to add a, a new look to my room. So initially, I'll show you right now. Um, this is what I initially planned on doing. And so yeah, this is uh, some one by four wood, half inch plywood. It's ten inches wide. These are all. 1 by 4 cut to different heights, and then I use my table saw and cut slits in it, cut, you know, that was a double, a double pass. Just did random shapes, and I thought, alright, that's going to be cool. That should do some kind of sound diffusion. Well, you know, in my head, it was perfect, so I mocked it up. This is 10 foot wide by 9 or 10 inches tall. Are you fucking... Sorry, my phone just paused for a second. It's 10 inches wide, not 10 foot, by like 9 or 10 inches tall. And this piece by itself, it's got to weigh, I would say, between 8 to 12 pounds, just this piece. I wanted to have a full beam, 6 foot 8, because that's my, my ceiling height. I have a really low ceiling. And it's just going to be super heavy, and then just to have to set the table saw up and do repeated passes and then sand. It was just going to be a, a hassle because the table saw doesn't cut very very nice when you're doing cuts like that. So I had to scrap this idea. I just kept, uh, I just started working on the room, made my rear beams, and then uh, the idea hit me. So I'll show you what I ended up doing. And uh, yeah, here we go. So this is the finished product. And... I did not do um, my plan there. As you can see, it's just uh, three boards, if you will, um, and then there's different heights for the in-between. So let me show you the one, turn the light on here. So I'll sh I did uh, three different heights, and then I mirrored it on the top and bottom are mirrored so that it's not just one continuous. Um, I did a two-tone color, so this is the satin black, it's called. Um, that's what my trim is, and, and the beams, and then, like, the light uh, outlet covers and stuff. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't know exactly what this is going to do for sound, but it's definitely not going to hurt, and I think it looks really good. So if you're interested um, in how I made them, um, I'll, I'll just spend the next few minutes kind of going over so here's a, a look at the end. So these are the one by fours, which are only three quarter by three and a half. And then this is a half inch piece of plywood. And then this is just like a brace. I have one on the top, one on the bottom. So I, uh, I assembled them on the wall and I used two by fours level to the wall. And there's screw holes there. This screws in really simple. Um, and then the plywood, I, uh, I had already pre-cut a rough cut here, and then I glued it and nailed it, let that dry, and I pulled it off the wall. And then I put this piece, can't really see it, here's a 1x4, I centered it um, and made sure it was square every direction. 
and then I did the same thing on this bottom and the top and then I took my router and it has a, uh, a finishing bit that just makes that flush on both sides. I did a lot of filling and sanding so can't really see. Um, let's look this way. You can see the edge there. So yeah, once I uh, then I routered uh, a radius all the way around, and then I proceeded to fill with spackle or you know I didn't use wood filler. Sanded it really smooth, primed it, painted it, and then believe it or not, those boards there are actually formally formally pink. Half inch insulation foam board. I peeled the plastic. You can see the plastic. I peeled that off. I used my table saw to cut really precise, really square pieces that I uh, I pre fit. So, and then I uh, this this here is three stacked, three piece three pieces stacked high. There's nothing there. That's just the backing. That's a two stack, and then that's a single stack. So um, I used Gorilla Glue carefully to uh, to glue these in place after they were painted and dried. And I uh, just had to don't use too much because it does foam up, and it did fill in a couple spots. It came came up a little bit. I had to touch it up, like you can see right there. I haven't I haven't fixed it yet, but yeah. So yeah, what do you think? Um, it's rare that you have an idea and then and then you come through with like even better than you imagined and I will say though once I came up with this idea this is exactly what I imagine is like perfectly like pulled straight out of my head and it uh it's just I couldn't have ex asked for more like it's it looks great and I'm sure like I said it's not going to hurt nothing um, sound wise I don't know what improvements it's going to make but uh, I got a ton of sound insulation or sound deadening absorption panels so this will be something a little different so yeah let me know what do you think uh, do you like the design do you think it's going to really do anything audio wise and uh, yeah so leave me a comment thanks for watching and stay tuned for my full before and after uh, video coming probably within a week or so. So until then, have a good one.